بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیسن نمبر نائن سو ہیئر یو ول لرن دا نیسب نیسب اینڈنگ آف ساؤنڈ فیمنین کلولر ساؤنڈ فیمنین کلولر ان عربک اس کال جمع مونس سالم سو یو ول لرن دا منصوب فارم آف جمع مونس سالم اوکے You know that whenever any sing, any noun is mansub, we use fata with it. We use fata with it. But when a jamma monas salim is mansub, we use kasra instead of fata. So listen again. Whenever any noun is mansub, we use fata with it. But when a sound feminine plural جمع مونس سالم بکمز منصوب وہ یوز کسرہ انسٹیڈ آف فتح جس لائک ہے سماوات اس منصوب بات ایٹ اس جمع مونس سالم ساؤنڈ فیمنین پلولر ڈیٹس وائی وہی آر یوزنگ کسرہ انسٹیڈ آف فتح مس رینہ ریڈ سلام علیکم سلام وعلیکم السلام In this lesson, we learn the following. Number one, the nasab ending of the sound feminine ruler. We have learned earlier that normal nasab ending of a noun is fata. Example, inal baita jadidun, oratul kitaba. Now we learn that the nasab ending of a noun in the sound feminine plural form is kasara instead of fata. Example, ra'aytul abna'a wal banati. I saw the son and the daughters. In this sentence, both al-abana'a al, al, Al-Abna'a and Al-Banati are both object of the first Ra'aytu. And so they are both mansub. The noun Al-Abna'a has the regular Fatah ending, but the noun Al-Banati has the Kasra ending because it is a sound feminine plural which end in at 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 mean alif ta uh, yeah. here some more example hala kaulahu sa sa samawati wal ard allah create the heaven and the art قَرَأْتُ الْكُتُوبَ وَالسُّخُوفَ وَالْجَلَاتِ I read the books, the newspaper, and the magazine. إِنَّ الْإِحْوَاقَ وَالْأَحْوَاتِ فِي الْبَيْتِ Indeed, the, brother, the brothers and the sisters are at home. Remember that the nasab and jar ending are the same in the sound feminine plural form. Example, innal tolibati fil hafilati. Indeed, the female students are in the bus. Here, atolibati is mansu because of inna. And al-hafilati is majorul because of the preposition fi. But both have the ending kasra. So have what, the kasra in. What do you have learned in this point? Rina, what did you learn in yes. this point? I explained you before you read it. 
Satya, do you remember what I explained? Satya. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. Do you remember uh, what I told you for this point yes. earlier today? Normal, normal, nazar the ending with uh, um, what is that? The ma? Fata. Normal nasab ending, normal mansu ending is fata. Fata, and then uh, if it is feminine plural, sound it's feminine with plural. If it is sound feminine plural. Oh, sound, sound feminine plural. Then, uh, if, then, then it is uh, ending with e kasra. Mm. That is mansur. Okay, so when sound feminine plural is mansur, the ending is kasra instead of fata. Okay. Mm. Rina, tell me what is the point? The noun, the regular noun uh, that usually kasra uh, ending kasra, uh, is will be. Uh, change to be uh, kasra because of uh, feminine plural, sound of feminine plural. No, no, no. Normal ending of Pansu word is fata. Look here. In Albaita, Karatul Kitaba. Normal ending of a noun, Mansub noun is fata. What is the normal ending of Mansub noun? Fata. Fata. And but the ending of Mansub sound feminine plural is kasra. Okay. Mm. Mm. Number two. <clears throat> In this point, you will learn that whenever we attach the pronoun ya, first person pronoun, to a verb as a maful bihi. Then we need an extra noun between them. So here you see Raituka pronoun is di directly attached to the verb. No need to add anything between them. Here pronoun who is attached to the verb Raitu. No need to add anything between them. But when the pronoun Ya is added to these ver verbs, then we need an extra noun between them. So here you see noun is added, noun is added, an extra noun is added. Okay. <clears throat> so now we will learn here why we are adding this noon here. With yeah, okay. The next student is Rizwana. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wassalam. I read, sir. Yes, read. We have learned that. Ra'aituka means I saw you and Ra'aituhu means I saw him. Now we learn the use of the pronoun of the first person, me. Note the following. Ra'aitani, you saw me. Khalakani Allahu, Allah created me. Khalakani Allahu. Join noon with lam. Nillahu Khalaka Nillahu Allah created me Sa'ala Nil Mudarrisu The teacher asked me The pronoun of the first person is only E Yama. But and Yama. is Ya Yes Is only Ya but and Noon is added between the Verb and the pronoun. Yeah. yeah. So, so the final vowel of the verb may not be affected by. Affected. Not be affected by. Affected not be affected to, due to. Yeah. Good. As we know, you saw is, raaita, uh, for masculine and, raaita for feminine. If we say Ra'ai Ta'i or Ra'ai Ti'i, the Arabic phonetic 
सिस्टम रिक्वायर्स द ओमिशन ऑफ द वॉवल आ और ई बिफोर द प्रोनाउन ई सो द वर्ब इन बोथ केसेस विल बिकम रा आई टी एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मैस्कुलर एंड फेमिनाइन विल बी लॉस्ट दैट इज वाई एंड नून इज inserted between the verb and the pronoun e ya rai pronoun ya pronoun ya rai tani rai tini this noon is called the noon of protection noonul vikayati because it protects the final vowel of the verb from omission did you understand anything uh sir the first person for yeah we have to add the noon good why we have to add noon because uh, both kasra and uh, ya yeah, we can't pronounce properly so if we add no we can say ni <clears throat> yes good there is one more thing there is a rule in arabic that before ya we cannot use fatha we cannot use kasra okay this is the rule of arabic so if i add <clears throat> ya here this mean according to that rule i have to remove this fatha if i remove this fatha then the meaning of raita will be changed because ta mean you masculine if i remove this fatha then meaning will be changed this is the problem so this mean here i need to add this but i can't remove this fatha so i need something so that this fatha may remain here and i can add this thing here so to protect the fatha i need to add an extra noon this noon will create a wall between fatha and ya so the rule of arabic which says that we cannot use fatha or kasra before ya will not be applied on this because there is a wall between them so raita will remain raita and ya will be added it become raita ni okay so and for female it will be raiti ni bilkul yes raiti ni raiti ni so this noon protects the original vowel which is necessary to remain keep the meaning same same thing in all of these raiti ni halaka ni saala ni so noon is added to protect the vowel the last vowel of the verb next we have fail taajub whenever we are amazed at any thing we use this form ma plus af ala pattern so you need to remember this af ala when you are amazed with something you will use this pattern and the thing will be mansub satya read this point mm -hmm. how to say in arabic how beautiful is this car what a beautiful car this is what a beautiful car is this uh, this is expressed in arabic by ma ajmala ma ajmala hasihi sayyarata this is called fail fail taajub फेलुत ताजुब verb of wonder and has the form of ma of al ma of allah ma of allah who one can use the pronoun who or any other nazab pronoun o replaces it by a manzub noun example ma at ma at ma at ya baka how good you are
Ma akara how how poor she is. Ma aksar run nujuma. Ma ak ma aksarun nujuma. How numerous the stars are. Then ma ashala ha sat darza. Ma ashala ha sat darza. How easy this lesson is. So this is the pattern. You need to memorize this pattern of afala. Okay. And remember the yeah. thing will be the next thing will be mansoor. So uh, we use ma for uh, what? Here we are using for how. Yes, how. Ma. No, you all know that after the word ya, the next word is always mafu, and we use we cannot use the mean with it. We use only one dhamma with it. But now you will learn that whenever we add the particle ya to a muzaf, it becomes mansoor. So the original word is bin tu bilalin. Daughter of Bilal, but when we add the particle ya, it becomes ya binta. Similarly, uhtu Muhammadin uhtu, but when we add the particle ya, it becomes ya uhta Muhammadin. So ya makes the muzaf mansub. Ya makes the muzaf mansub. Remember this point. Ya makes the muzaf mansub. Amina. Yes, peace be upon you. Wa alaikum We have learned in book one that the noun of the ya takes only one dhamma, e.g., ya hamidu, ya bilalu, ya ustadu, ya waladu. Now, if the noun of the ya is mudaf, it is mansu. Ya binta. Bilali, O daughter of Bilal, Ya Ukta Muhammadin, O sister of Muhammad. Ya Banna. That's very difficult. Banna, Ya. Ya Banna, Ki. Ya Ya Banna, Aki. Ya Banna, Aki, O son of my brother. Ya. Maktabati, Ya Rabbil Maktabati, O oh Lord of the. No, sorry, sorry, Kaba, Kaba, Ya Rabbul Kabaati, O oh Lord of the Kaaba, Ya Abdullahi, O oh Seventy of Allah, Ya Aya Bakrin, Ya Abu Bakrin, O oh Abu Bakr Litteri, O oh Father of of Bukhari, Know that Mansu from. For Mansu form of Anuwa. Anuwa is Ya. Abu is Aba. Abu is a, yeah, I, I was thinking now. Abu is a Ya. Aba. Ya. Aba. Aba. Oh, yeah, I can see it now clear. Aba. Ya Rabbina, O oh Lord. Rabbana. Ya Rabbana. What did you have learned in this point? Anyone can tell me. Let me say it firstly. <laughs> Mansub, Ya Mudaf. Before it was, now it is Mansub. And uh, Ya makes the Mudaf. No, no, make the mansub mudaf. Ya yeah, makes the muzaf mansub. Okay. Yeah. Next, we have we have learned in the so you have now you know that after the word come, next word is always singular and it is always mansub. After the word come, the next word is always singular and mansub. And you also know that after the harfijar, the next word is always majroor. So what will happen when harfijar and comes together? In that case, it will be up to you whether you follow the rule of come 
or whether you follow the rule of harf e jar so here become if you want to follow the harf e rule of harf e jar you will say become riya lin haza but if you want to follow the rule of kam then you will say become riya lan haza okay so it up it is up to you which rules you follow in this case you can follow any of these two rules kinza assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam we have learned in book 1 that the noun after come how many is singular and mansub but if the word come is preceded by a preposition the noun following it may be majrur or mansub for example kam riyalan inda ka how many riyals have you become riyalan riyalin haza how many riyals does it cost here both riyalan and riyalin are permissible because of the preposition be in the same way we can say ki kam yawman yawmin In how many days? Kinza, fever. पे आपका मैसेज आया था कि मैं कुरान पढ़ाना चाहती हूँ. No sir. ना वहाँ पे भी किंजा नहीं था. अच्छा मुझे लगा आप होंगे शायद. You know. No. Okay, so here we can use either of these two sentences. You can say "fi kam yaman" or you can say "fi kam yamin". Next is interrogative. कुछ सर आपके पास स्टूडेंट्स हैं नहीं वो की खातून थी कहती मैंने कुरान पढ़ाना है बच्चों को नाम उनका भी किन्नर था मुझे लगा आपने अच्छा। शायद कोई हिफज किया हो आपने हिफज किया हो नहीं किया हुआ नहीं हिफज नहीं किया वैसे तजवीद के साथ पढ़ा हुआ ठीक अच्छा जी ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव इंटरोगेटिव मा सो हियर यू विल लर्न दैट the word in, in uh, interrogative ma mean what but when we add, uh, add harf e jar to it then the alif is dropped when we add harf e jar to the ma of interrogation then alif is dropped similarly when any harf e jar which has noon is added to this interrogative ma noon is also assimilated to mim misrama assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wa barakatuh now when the interior artifact may is preceded by a preposition the alif of name alif of is, ma alif of ma is dropped sapu di ma with what ni ma for what or why nim nim ma Nima, from what? No, that the now of mean no, no. as mean now noon of noon okay noon of mean has been assimilated to the mean of ma mean ma mean plus ma mean ma amma and Ma and plus ma about what? Know that the noon of an has been assimilated to the name of ma. What did you learn an, here? You learn that if um, majirul come after. Ma, the alif is omitted. Okay. 
and the name of her figure is also a simulated okay okay the next point here we will learn the plural of allazi and we will also learn the plural of allati we will learn the plural of these two words next student is rina Yes, sir. We have learned the relative pronoun allazi, masculine singular, and allati, feminine singular. Now we learn their plural form. The plural of allazi is allazina, and that of allati is allatina. Here are some examples. Allati. Oh, sorry, allati. الرجل الذي خرج من مكتب مكتب المدري مديري مدرس جديد. The man who left the headmaster's office is a new teacher. So for masculine plural. الرجال الذين خرجوا من مكتب المدير مدرسنا Modarisuna Jududun. The men who left the headmaster always are new teachers. For feminine singular, Atoli Batulati Jala Jala Sat Amama Amamal Modarisati Bintul Modi Roti. The female student who sat in front of the lady teacher is the head master's daughter. For feminine plural, Atoli Batulati Jalasna Amama Amamal Madari Sati Banatul Mudari Sati Banatul Mudi Roti. The female student who sat in front of the lady teacher are the headmistress' daughters. What do you have learned here? Uh, the uh, for uh, plural of alazi is alazina, and uh, for alati is alat. For alati is alati. Alati long. A lot, a lot, a lot. We know the particle Hamza, which is used to ask questions. Now, when we add this particle Hamza to a simple sentence like this one, Al Mudari Sukal Al Laka, the teacher said to you, then that sentence, of course, changes into question. But since it has Alif Lam already, so alif will change into alif madda so this is a question and this is a simple sentence this is a simple sentence and this one is a question and here we already have alif so when we add the particle hamza here it changes into al yoma which makes it a question okay but here we don't have alif lam so this Hamza will remain Hamza, it will not change into Alif Madda. But still, it is a question interrogative sentence, and this is a simple sentence. Next student is Rizwana. Yes, sir. We have learned the particle R, uh, which turns a statement into a question. If the noun following it has al, the a changes to 
अलिफ मद्द आ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल मुदर्रिसु काला लका आल मुदर्रिसु काला लका डिड द टीचर टेल यू अल मुदर्रिस ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस अल मुदर्रिसु काला लका द मुदिर द टीचर टोल्ड यू ओके कॉल कॉल सेट टू यू टोल्ड यू ओके and the next becomes question so it is did the teacher tell you a al mudarrisu kala laka al yawma raituhu today you saw him al yawma raituhu did you see him today but hazat talibu saalaka this student asked you becomes a hazat talibu saalaka did this student ask you what you learned here uh, if uh, the uh, if you ask a question and uh, if the following word is uh, containing al then the alif for a becomes long alif madda okay good next we have alif maksura so whenever any word has alif maksura and it become muzaf then the alif maksura will come into its original form alif which is alif so here you see alif maksura is written like this but when they, this word become muzaf the alif comes in its real form then you will learn before this you have learned that counting from 3 to 10 is muzaf and muzaf like three books four books but when we want to use that thing in sense of quality of something then the rule of muzaf and muzaf le will not be applied but the rule of nath and manuth will be applied so for example i want to say the four books are very important in that case i will not say arbaatu kutubin but i will say al kutubul arbaatu i am specifying some specific four books so in that case we will follow the rule of nath manuth satya um the final the final yes. a the final a e which is pronounced alif is written written alif and jar jar or nazab pronoun is attached to the word maanna Maanna meaning, mahnahu its meaning. Kawa he ayand, kawa hu he ayand it. Do I want to continue? Yes. Point number ten. Atullah bujja judu lul. अल Al Kutubul Arbaatu. The four books are Rijalul Ashratu. Are Rijalul Ashratu. The ten men Asiha As Asiha Husitatu. Asiha Husitatu. The six authentic books of Hadid. 
And then al 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 akwatul kamsu al akwatul kamsu the five sisters okay here you will learn that fail here you know that fail always come first then comes the maful or mubtada always come first then comes the khabar but when the second person is in doubt then we do it in opposite way for example if i want to say that rai to bilalan i saw bilal or let's suppose uh, let's take a student from this class anyone for example satia if i say that i saw satia in islamabad then i will this is my class in my head fees if i want to say that i saw satya in islamabad today then i will just say rai to satya feel islamabad al yawma but if i feel that you all will doubt me that satya is in sri lanka she can't be in islamabad but i am sure that i have seen satya in islamabad then in that case satya rai to feel islamabad al yawma it was the satya that i saw in islamabad today so when second person is in doubt we do it in oppositely in opposite way okay so simon sondi read this point hello yes hello yes which one i did point number 11 ila al mudir zahabtum here ila mudir has been brought forward for the sake of emphasis continue do you have any question Rai to Bilalan, I saw Bilal without emphasis. Bilalan, Rai to, it was Bilal that I saw with emphasis. The second construction is used in case of doubt or denial. If anyone has any question, they can ask me now. Next, we have the vocabulary. so you can read it yourself and next time inshallah we'll start at the sutta join the meeting again using the same link